Kitty now, who's been waiting a while. Go ahead, P. Kitty. What's the biggest political story this week, according to you? Would you agree that it's the caste census by Bihar, or do you see something else? Caste census is definitely uh, is uh, something which is uh, really a disturbing thing. This was in the pipeline from the last couple of years in the minds of uh, Nidhish Kumar or the many other people. But Congress, a party like Congress, is supporting it in, and uh, now uh, asking for that to happen everywhere, and it uh, is happening in Karnataka and etc. is a worrisome for me. Why I'll tell you, all our spiritual gurus, whether it is Vivekananda to Shankaracharya to all our spiritual gurus, are always said that they wanted to, they, they envisaged as so casteless society. So as the, our uh, makers of our constitution. But suddenly, after 75 years later, the political class, especially the opposition parties now wanted further to divide the Hindu society. That is the only way they can come back to the power. I think that is really worrisome. And then a party like a Congress, which takes uh, uh, this issue as in one of the prime issue now because they, they don't have anything much to talk about they can only talk about as uh, my friend from the congress said that okay the uh, ed is used the cbi is used but i am even surprised with the fact that barka that earlier people used to say that people uh, go and do the strike all across even in uh, bengal or punjab or anywhere else is that to why the governments are not acting against the corrupt people when today, when the corrupt people have been questioned, they, they have been arrested, they have been um, charged with uh, corruption cases. Why are we just worrying and just making it as a, as a political vendetta? I don't think so. I, and I also believe that this washing machine concept that it's very boring. It's been used multiple times and people have exposed this uh, uh, washing right. machine thought process multiple times in multiple places. Now I, and now I want have, to I have done many shows on those uh, washing machine concepts. I think it's very boring. People who have done something wrong needs to be brought to book. And that is the in, that is in the interest of the country. It is not just in the interest of a political party or against a political party. Right. Those who I, have been. Have you I ever would've... seen that uh, uh, A.K. Antony was charged with any case ever? Have you okay. ever okay. seen? Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. Let me, let me, let me though ask you, PKD, before I go to Shahzad, and I really do want to spend a couple of minutes talking about the caste census and 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 the BJP's response to it. But I, I agree. Anyone who's corrupt should be investigated and punished by due process. But it's difficult to believe that only opposition leaders are corrupt. That's the only point that is that that the media sometimes raises, right, PKD? May I ask, Mr. Saws, is there in this uh, 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 from the Congress, or even for that matter, anybody else? The people, if a BJP man or a BJP leader is corrupt, why the Congress is not there on the street? Why the Congress is not able to place it on the record? Why Congress is not taking any judicial action or even approaching any okay. court? Okay. Of law? Let me Nothing. let me let me ask let me ask Salman Sos a different question. I asked Shahzad about Ajit Pawar. I'm going to ask both of you one question each. Salman Sos, do you believe Sanjay Singh is corrupt? And Shahzad Poonawala, do you believe Ajit Pawar is corrupt? Salman, you go first. Do you believe Sanjay Singh? Yeah. Do you believe Sanjay Singh faces allegations that you take seriously? And you believe Prima Facie for the Aam Aadmi Party to be guilty in the Delhi liquor scam? Let me, let, let, let me address uh, Mr. Nambiar uh, directly because he asked, he basically asked me a question. And he said, why aren't Congress people agitating and why, why aren't you doing something about uh, corruption? My point is that if there are national agencies that are our agencies, that they belong to the people of India, they do not belong to BJP. When their investigations are totally one-sided, as we can see from the caseload, then you're basically putting the onus on us and not saying that there is something patently wrong. But you haven't answered my question. You I haven't answered you. Sanjay Singh, yeah. to be quite honest with you, I have no idea. I have no idea, but I do, I can put one and one together or two and two together. And the, 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 the Mr. Modi, Mr. Amit Shah, the BJP are facing an extremely serious, serious uh, challenge this time. Okay. There so you're no still, you're, you're no sidestepping, you sidestep the question. They are, they are, they're basically, it's going to be a lot of political kind of uh, uh, vendetta. I can tell you that they think they can destroy the opposition alliance, the India alliance, by doing these kinds okay. of things. 
I don't think it's going to happen. One one Can quick I... quick thing because uh, because that is something that's been on my mind when Shehzad was talking about Arnab and others. You know, these uh, Arnab is such a well healed character. He's going to get all sorts of support from the RSS and the BJP. But what about Fahad Shah from Kashmirwal? Two years. He's been under uh, an anti-terror law for an article that was published on his website by somebody else 10 years back. In, then, in Kashmir, there is no journalism. They finished it. They finished journalism in Kashmir. Barkha, you know it. And these are the people, and I'll tell you this, whatever happens in Kashmir, they want to do that in the rest of the country. We will not allow it. We will not okay. allow it. Let me try the same question. I couldn't get a direct answer from you. I'm going to see if I can get a direct answer from Shehzad Poonawala. The Prime Minister himself lashed out at the corruption of the Nationalist Congress Party, the NCP. Do you believe Ajit Pawar, who is today in alliance with your party, to be a non-corrupt politician? Or do you believe the irrigation scam allegations are very serious? It is not an issue of my belief. I believe some people sitting here are also perhaps indulging in corruption. Does it work on my belief? It works on the court, what the court finds. Your comparison should have been, is Lalu corrupt? Court has said four times, yes, yes, Lalu is yes, convicted. Yes. Lalu is convicted. That's why I didn't ask the second, question. One second, yeah. Arka, one second, Arka. Now ask the same question, is Lalu corrupt to Salman? He will give you the same long-winded answer. He will not give you a categorical answer. And Manish Sodhya is not in jail because Modi is in a tech early ask for jail medal. His court has rejected his bail plea. The CBI court has said, and I quote, he's the principal architect of the Sharab Gotala and trails of 100 crore rupees have been received by him. Should I not go by what court says? As far as Ajit Pawar is concerned, because I am not somebody who will not give you a direct answer. As far as Ajit Pawar is concerned, if there is any allegation on any member of the NCP, whether with us or with them, and that scam, because Salman is accepting that scam has happened under the Congress government. Nobody will be spared, but the court will decide who is guilty. And therefore, I say the court has pronounced Lalu guilty. Do you accept him as guilty? No. And Mr. Salman source, instead of figuring out about journalism in Kashmir, you have issued a list of 14 journalists against whom you have put out a hit list or a fatwa saying that these journalists have to be boycotted. I mean, stop giving these moral lectures on journalism. You are the product of emergency and censorship. Now, let me come. Should I address the question on caste census? Yes, Sometimes please. Because, 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 uh, because to me, clearly the opposition attempt is to make that one issue transcend all other issues. So yes. please go ahead. Why is the BJP opposing Very a quickly. national caste census? Yes, please. B BJP has not opposed it at all. Firstly, let me use your platform of the show. There are two instances where the BJP has kept its position official. One is in the case of the caste survey in Bihar. By the way, it was our government which gave 500 crores. In the assembly, when it was brought up, we voted with the caste survey. The second instance is in the Supreme Court, when in an affidavit, we have not stopped or said no for any caste census. In fact, let me give you some facts which will open up your eyes completely and your viewers, Barkha, completely. Do you know that TMC, and I am reading out official statement of TMC. Please listen carefully, Barkha. TMC leader Sogata Roy told the Indian Express, our leader Mamta Banerjee has said already that we are opposed to caste census. The TMC is opposed to caste census. The first resolution which was coming of India Alliance, this is the Indian Express report, please see it. The first, the first resolution they were going to pass was including caste census, but Mamta Didi put her foot down and they said no for it. Now tell us who's against caste census. Two, who's talking about this issue? In Odisha, leader of opposition is from Congress. He has opposed uh, Biju Janta Dal's move to have a caste survey there. Three, in Karnataka, 2013 to 2018, a caste survey was already done. Siddha Ramaya has put it in cold storage. Where is it now? BK Hari Prasad is reminding him, keep lagu karo. Four, just yesterday in an interview, yesterday or today in an interview to Astar, Panjana, Bhupesh Baghel was asked uh, about this caste survey, etc. So he says very smilingly, Maine to pehle hi kara diya hai caste survey. So then Anjana asks him, caste survey karwa diya, to uska result jari karo. He says, nahi karna hai. And I have the video clip. I can play it for you because it's Astar. No, 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 that's ah. fine. We take your word yeah, for it. Right. Please, please carry on. Yeah. Now last one. And last, last 10 seconds. Only 10 seconds. Barkha, please see the history of my party and their party. Since BJP is born, Hindustan Times has done a study. You can put it out when you find it. 30.9% CMs of BJP have been OBC. The Congress had 17. 
today they will cite three chief ministers apart from that who has they made prime minister we have made an obc the prime minister and our next prime minister is also an obc can salman so tell us whether their next prime ministerial candidate is going to be an obc and finally let me give you one important fact 1979 mandal report comes it was put forward by the janta government it comes in 1979 1980 indira ji rejects it does not accept it rajiv ji rejects it and when vp singh government accepts it because with the support of bjp at that time rajiv ji in lok sabha on 6th of september 1990 has opposed caste uh, has opposed mandal committee mandal commission okay. report can, can, they can are I, the ones I, who did not give constitutional status to obc commission and okay. they are the ones that salman his nasik salman khurshi said that out of the obc quota of 27% 4.5% should be given to muslims which is can against I, constitutional scheme can i ask you very briefly before i go to rahul salman i know you had your hand up at rahul then salman and then pkd you said the bjp has nowhere said that it opposes a caste census therefore the opposition has demanded a national caste census would the bjp be in favor of this before the elections uh bata even somebody who's a novice knows that now the elections in this country are due in 2024 or uh, many of them think that it will be held earlier also is there an administrative mechanism to have an election uh, to have this uh, census right now by the way the census is not conducted by government it is conducted by the registrar general but the question should be put if the registrar general can get it done they should go ahead and tell us but having said that let me ask you one question when the congress did the caste uh, census in 2011 and they spent 5000 crores on it why did they not release the data till 2014 and do you know when we came to power we saw that data there were 8.9 crore errors and we sent those errors back to state governments governments like west bengal tamil nadu bihar many of the congress rules state governments have not rectified those errors why kyun man mein paap hai karnataka mein release kar do na okay okay, okay. 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 Let me bring in Rahul. Let me bring in Rahul. Uh, Shahzad referred to some data on chief ministers, so we just pulled that out. BJP indeed has had the highest share of OBC chief ministers, while this number is lowest for the Congress, as reported by the Hindustan Times. So it's thirty point nine percent in the BJP to seventeen point two percent in the Congress. So I just wanted to put that figure out there. But obviously, there is some calculation with Rahul Gandhi coining a reasonably controversial phrase. I want to ask you about that phrase, Rahul, linking policy to population, uh, right? Right. Uh, once you say that, hey, jitni ab uh, abadi, utna hak. This can be applied to many different areas. Kal ko delimitation me, the southern states will will be told ki, or or smaller states will be told, apki abadi kam hai, to you know, policy will be in a certain way. Uh, tomorrow, the my, religious minorities, you know, this can be misapplied. Abhishek Singh we tweeted against it, then deleted his tweet. I want you to come in, Rahul Dev. You see, the prime minister has already started it. He has said in very recent uh, uh, speeches, he has accused the Congress of trying to uh, harm the southern states because of the, the, the this new caste That's survey. Right. He has also said uh, con- again, uh, challenged or uh, accused Congress of trying to divide the Hindu Hindu uh, society yeah. through caste. so it has already started by no less than the prime minister himself so this is going to to go on rahul gandhi so far is concerned shahzad is right in, in his history rahul gandhi rajiv gandhi opposed it and rahul has said that was a mistake and i am now going to uh, sort of correct it and he is going full mm-hmm. full uh, force ahead with uh, caste based and ca- demand for caste survey uh, there are several problems in this whole thing firstly i am also deeply disturbed and worried about the net effect it will have on the society and on the on, on the nation in the long term even in the short term the medium term uh, it may get some people somewhere electoral benefits but uh, we have to look at the overall holistic uh, in, impact it will have on uh, the indian society in, in totality uh i'm not very happy about it but i don't think now it can be stopped hmm. the cat is out of the bag nitish kumar has taken a step which every uh, chief minister now is going to be under pressure to come out with its own caste survey there is yeah. also something uh, a fact that a state cannot hold any census the right to hold a census to organize a center lies specifically with this center states can ho- have surveys of different kinds but they are not empowered to hold censuses 
we must make a distinction between these and that's why we need one census and one methodology uh, nationally accepted that comes out with these figures in the very near future hopefully and you and you believe you believe that the nature of politics is such that even the bjp might be under pressure now to nationally go ahead with this perhaps not before 2024 but after everyone knows yes there may be uh, there is going to be a national a growing demand and uh, odisha has yeah. also declared that it's going to come out with its own survey so yeah. even all the chief ministers who say that i have done it and we have the survey are going to be under pressure to make it public 